On Halloween morning, six days after the disappearances, police from Seattle, Washington had recovered a 14 month old boy who had been abandoned by a man driving a car with South Carolina plates. The description of this child matched Alexander Smith. Only a short time later, it was confirmed that the child in Seattle was not Alex Smith. By now, their investigation's focus had shifted to strategy, how to get Susan to confess. They created a fake newspaper with a fake news story about a young woman who murdered her children, but then only served a short sentence and after her release, married a rich doctor. They were going to then pass this newspaper article along to Susan with the hope that it would play on her warped sense of reality and make her expect less dire consequences and therefore less afraid of confessing. 